everyone! Thank you so much for watching this video. So a couple of days ago my parents got back from an overseas trip to Hawaii and of course before they left my mom was like okay send me your list you know whatever you want I'll try and pick up what I can because it's like tradition you know when one of us goes overseas they just you know bring back stuff that you can't get here or maybe it's cheaper over there so anyways I sent her um, my Sephora list of course and she was a trooper she got every single thing on there the exact correct shade like she was good thanks mom so basically I just wanted to show you what I got because I love watching haul videos just because like it gives me ideas um, about where I'm going to throw my money next and yeah, I'm just so excited. So I've had these for a couple of days now sitting at the end of my bed and I haven't used them because I wanted to show you them brand new mint condition type things. So I'm really excited now that I'm filming this so that I can start using them. Um, so it's not, there's not a lot of products. It's not like a huge haul, but it was a very expensive one, of course. Okay, so let's just get started. Oh, also, um, if you know me personally or you've watched a couple of my videos and you're like, hmm, something different about her. Well, you're very observant and you're right. I've actually got, um, last week I got my Invisaligns fitted, so I've got, um, you know, clear stuff over my teeth. Just moving my teeth. So I've got a little bit of a lift, like a whistle here and there, so just bear with me. I'm still getting used to them. Okay, let's just dig in. So, this is, oh, I just put it all in a MAC bag. None of it's actually from MAC. It's all Sephora couple of Victoria's Secret things and then there's one other thing well actually three things that I bought the day after they got back that I'll just I just threw in there to add to the excitement okay so let's go um, first little thing is just some hair ties from Victoria's Secret these weren't on my list but she thought I would need them which I do and oh, another thing that um, she threw in was just this Sephora retractable eyeliner pen it's like a midnight kind of blue color you can't really see it because I've still got the plastic on it but yeah okay now going into something that I've had on my list forever except it's never it's never in stock in Australia <laughs> like I've tried every Mecca in Brisbane like I've looked online and they never have it it's not on the online store so I was like mom if you can pick this up um, and she found it it's the Smashbox photo finish primer water I've been dying to try this stuff, especially now that it's winter and it's colder and my skin's dry. I really want that um, mist primer before I put on my makeup. So I'm excited to use that. Another thing that was like very last minute um, that I wanted is because I only saw this recently um, come out overseas. It's coming out, I think, next week in Australia. This is the Too Faced Coco Contour Chisel to Perfection Little Kit. Ooh. Now I have like a zillion contour kits and contour shades, but I'm obsessed with the Too Faced Coco stuff, the stuff that smells like chocolate, so I'm like, I gotta have it. It's really cute. It comes with these four shades and this little kabuki brush. Please excuse my disgusting nails. So yes, another thing I love. Um, oh, okay, this is another thing that I've been dying to get. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. And it's, oh god, I'm pretty sure, you know, everyone's seen these. Everyone's like, oh, do I buy one? Do I buy one? I bought one. I love it. I can't wait to use it. I love my Luminous Light by Hourglass. It's just spot on. Um, okay, digging into some more stuff. I got the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Primer. Um, I got the hydrating one, of course, because my skin's always dry. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like a whitey, bluish, pale thing. And I wasn't expecting the applicator to look like this. I don't know why, but um, it's pretty cool. So I'm excited to use this. I might use these two in conjunction with each other, just to, you know, see how it goes. Get that extra kind of... Um, boost to my skin. Another thing that's been on my list for so long but also it is never in stock in um, my Mecca is the Too Faced Melted Lipstick in Melted Fig. I'm in love with this colour. I swatch it every time I go into the store. I'm like, do you have any yet? They're like, no, sorry. So I finally got one and I'm excited. Oh, another thing um, that 
Like, I was actually going to buy, like, a couple of days before they left, but I was just like, you know what, it's a little bit cheaper overseas, even with the exchange rate. So I was like, Mum, just pick this up. It is the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. I got a sample of this stuff um, from Sephora with my last order, and it was just... And it was just like the most amazing eye cream. And like I don't have, you know, dark circles under my eyes or, you know, I don't get bad wrinkles. Why is it really unfocused? Sorry. Um, but I do like just to have that hydration because I know I'm going to thank myself when I grow up a little bit more, when I get older. So I really love that stuff. You should go get a sample, you know, if they sell it anywhere near you, just go a little little bit and try it and you'll see what I mean it's just so thick and creamy Ooh, this I was so excited to get this um it's the Becca under eye brightening corrector I'll just get you a little bit closer it is so cute it's just like a little pot of it's not gold but it's just like this beautiful color here so I don't know whether to wear this under, it says under your concealer, but you can also wear it on its own. I think I might try that first. Um, these two things, these were also last minute purchases. She's like, okay, anything else before I leave? I was like, mm, yeah, let's do it. I got two of the Clinique um, blush pops. These are adorable. I see so many photos and so many people talking about these. And I'm just like, oh, I have to have them. But you know what? They're 40 Forty dollars in Australia. I think they sell them at like my uh, maybe Mecca. I don't know. They sell clinic there. Anyways, these were twenty US dollars, so that's about thirty Australian dollars. I was like, cheaper again. Okay, this is so cute. This is in um, Fig Pop. Sorry, the reflections. No, like, it's so cute though. Look at the pattern. I don't want to use it just so the pattern stays. Okay, so that's Fig Pop, and I also got Melon Pop. It's a little bit more neutral, a bit more peachy. Okay, and that's what it looks like. So I'm excited to use these blushes. I just love the packaging. It looks awesome. I just got a visitor. Hello. She's walking. Come on, jump up. Oh, here you are. Here's my little papa. Oh, you gonna wave to everyone? Hi. Alright, I'm gonna put you down. Say bye. Bye. Ugh, I would just shut my door. Sorry about that. Um, something else I got, which is something I already have, I just needed a new one, is my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown. That's what I'm wearing at. That's what I've got on at the moment. It's pretty much what I use every day. I just love this stuff. I'm going to show you uh, four little things, well actually three, the fourth one's boring, uh, three things I actually got in the mail last week from uh, a shop that's about an hour away from here, but they deliver really quick. Okay, now I've actually used all these already, but I just wanted to show you, and I will link down below, if you're in Australia, um, the website that I bought these from, because they're it's, 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 it's extremely well priced and the range of stuff is just awesome. So I got another little Becca thing. It is the um, Beach Tint Shimmer Souffle. I was reading that reverse. And I got the shade Watermelon Moonstone. So it's a watermelon colored blush with the moonstone highlight throughout it. That's what it looks like. It's a little bit cracked because I think it's just dried out a bit. It's not gonna focus. But the best thing about this is it smells like sour watermelon. Like and it's awesome. It's just like a little creamy blush. I love it. Now this is what I liked most about my purchase. It is the Bite Five Night Fix for Lips from Bite Beauty. And basically what comes in this cute little jar is two products. One is like a little exfoliating. It's the cherry. It comes in a pot usually. This is just like the mini size. It's a little lip exfoliator. It smells like cherries delicious and also the agave lip mask it's a little tiny mini size as you can see I'm like <laughs> digging into it I definitely think I will buy the full size of this when I'm done okay and the last thing I got from that order was 
Um, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfecta Spotlights. So they're just like the um, the highlighters, just the liquidy ones, but really teeny tiny little ones, and it comes with three shades. One is opal. This is opal. Second one is champagne gold. And the third one is, I think, pearl. Yeah, that's right. I'll just show you what it looks like. It's just like this. These are so handy for traveling. It just comes with like a little brush on it. So uh, these are really good. I've only used the opal one so far. Three things left. Um, these are what I got yesterday. I was in Maya, no, David Jones. And uh, I went in last week to get this, but it, was, it wasn't actually out of stock. They just thought it was. So they called me and they're like, okay, we've held one for you. Come back. It is the Laura Mercier um, Creme Brulee Honey Bath. And this is like all what I'm living for today. Cannot wait to use it. So basically, Creme Brulee is my favorite dessert. Obviously, who doesn't love it? And it is just this magnificent. It literally smells like a dessert and the texture it's so like it's it's honey and it even comes with a cute little thingamajig that you can just you know twist it off put it in the bath so I'm excited this was 50 um, Australian dollars which I was like mm. it's a little bit smaller than I expected but um, when you think about it I'm like a lush girl I'll spend like nine ten dollars on a bath bomb that lasts like one hit so, you know, this will probably last me quite a while. I'm not going to use that much of it um, at a time. So, yeah, well worth the money. I'm not going to be going to Lush for a while. Okay, last two things. They're both the same product, just different shades. I got it Mecca, and they are the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. Now, I got these two colors. They're actually quite similar to Melted Fig. But whatever, I've got a thing for this shade of lipstick right now, even though I'm not wearing it currently. Okay, so the first one is Aria. It's just this color, like this. I haven't actually tried these formulas before, but when I tried it in store, I was so excited. Like, they they feel great. Oh, they smell good too. Okay, so that's in the shade Aria. And the second one is in Patina, which is kind of a little bit lighter get it out for you. I'll just take it out because you can't really see it with the glossy packaging. And you can't see it over my wrinkly hand. Okay. They don't look like much in the tubes. On the skin. Uh -huh. Very nice. Okay. And that's it actually. I thought this was going to be longer. But it wasn't so that's good. So yeah, thanks again and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, actually, speaking of next video, um, not that like I have a schedule or that I even have more than like five subscribers, but um, I'm going to be making, hopefully uploading three videos this weekend. One of them's going to be um, just like a cream contour video using my Anastasia cream contour kit. Um, it's, it's just gonna be for like, it's just gonna be like for beginners if you're, like me and you know you don't use cream contouring a lot because you don't really know what to do with it or you haven't before and you want to try it out and this video will be good for you so stay tuned for that I'm also going to be uploading a eye look and I'm also going to be uploading an eye look um, using my Too Faced Sugar Pop palette this is relatively new I've actually had this for a while because I bought it overseas and I just haven't gotten around to using it yet. Like, look how pretty those colours are. So I'm going to do a look inspired by this palette, on this palette. Um, and the last thing is actually just going to be a really quick little talk through video. I might even just film it after this. On how to depot your MAC lipsticks. And then that's like, depotting your MAC lipsticks? Like, what does that even mean? Okay, well... Okay, for those of you that know of the Cinderella collection, ba -da -ba -bum, okay, just get in your mind what those lipsticks look like. So there was a nude one, 
and there was a very pale pink one. Okay, the nude one was kind of goldy. Ready? So here's my little lipstick pod. Oh, that isn't pale pink. No, that is actually Speed Dial, one of my favorite MAC lipsticks in my favorite packaging, if that makes sense. So basically what I've done is I've transferred my favorite lipsticks from this packaging into this packaging. And I've done the same thing for my other one. That's Creme de la Femme, I think. Mm. And <laughs> these are my two Cinderella lipsticks. Because I don't use these very often, but I just, I pretty much bought them for the packaging. So I just thought, well, let's swap it over. That way I can use my limited edition packaging more. So I'm just going to talk through how I did that. It's really easy. Literally all you need is a freezer and some paper towels. Okay, so stay tuned for that video. I'll probably upload these at the same time. So um, might be, it might not be linked in the description down below. Okay, thanks again, guys. I'll see you later.